Using my incredible 3D modeling skills, I took the default cube in Blender and I beveled the edges. I exported this model in FBX format, and then I could bring it into Unreal Engine. Using the technique I talked about in my previous video, I stored both the FBX file and the Blender file in my to-import folder. So now I have an empty workspace set up in P4V, and what I want to do is push my project to my depot. So, I might try something like this. I could right-click on the To Import folder and say Mark for Add. And let's take a look at what shows up in my pending change list. Well, this is good except I also have this Blender backup file. Blender will automatically generate these Blend 1 files, and I don't really want that in version control. Now, it would be really tedious to go through and manually uncheck all these backup files, so what I want to show you is how to configure Perforce so that we can ignore certain kinds of files. So first, let me just revert this change list. There, now I'm back to where I was. So I'm going to use uh, git bash, because that's my preferred shell here on Windows, and I'm going to go to the directory where the project is. It's in uh, over here. Good. And again, we can look in that to import folder and see what's in there, the three files we expect. Um, the first time you use this technique on your machine, you need to set a variable through perforce. So we can say p4 set p4ignore equals dot p4ignore. And that tells Perforce that we're going to use this .p4ignore file to hold the data about what files it should ignore. Okay, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and make a p4ignore file. I happen to be using Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which is a nice plain text editor. Let me quickly point out, especially for Windows users, that it's the content of the file that makes it a text file, not the extension. So we don't need something like this because we know that if we're opening this with a plain text editor and it only contains plain text, that's what makes it a plain text file. And we'll keep this real simple. I'll put in a comment that just says ignore Blender backup files. And we'll put in here a star dot blend one. Save that. Now there's a really useful command you can use on the command line here, p4 ignores and it actually tells us all the stuff that it's planning to ignore. So that's pretty nice. But we also get that within P4V. So if I right click on to import and say mark for add, put it in the default change list, it gives me a little warning here that says, hey, this file is being ignored. Well, yeah, that's what I want. And if you get tired of seeing that, you can always tell it not to warn you anymore. What's important is I can see in my pending change list only those files that I want. So that's pretty neat. If you have some backup files or some generated files you don't want to include, this is a good way to prevent them from ending up in your depot. So, you know, there's nothing stopping us from tricking this out a little bit. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's just open the uh, p4ignore file. You know, if we wanted to say uh, ignore all of our generated Visual Studio solution files, we could do this. We could say ignore the whole uh, saved and intermediate folders. Um, and this can save us a lot of trouble. However, keep in mind that you should always review what files are going to show up in your pending change lists before you actually submit them to the, the server. Because once the depot has them, well, there's not really much going back without undoing change sets. Let me also quickly mention that this .p4ignore file can be added to the depot also. So if I were to actually take this and submit it to my depot, I would probably choose my config and my content and my to import, my p4ignore, and of course my uproject files, and these would be the actual files that I would put in my change list. Again, it's warning me about the ignored file. I'm not worried about it. I can review what's in my pending change list. That looks pretty good. This is ready to submit to the depot.